welcome back in today's video we will be discussing three important questions regarding the filtration system you use with your wire cut machine number 1 are you getting the best filtration with your wire cut machine number 2 do you know the real cost of using the paper cartridges and number 3 are you paying a really heavy price for improper filtration with your wire cut machine I am Ajinkya Kerkar, and I have spent my entire career in the manufacturing industry. And what I realize is that there is a big need for knowledge sharing, and hence this channel, the Think Filter Show. If you find these videos helpful, then I sincerely request you to please like, comment, share, or subscribe to my channel, so that it helps spread the knowledge. So back to today's video, the world of EDM, especially wire EDM. has undergone huge change in in the past few decades like better machine construction or a better user interface but there is one area which has lagged behind the times or has been majorly neglected and that is filtration most wire cut machines that we get today come equipped with paper cartridges as their filtration they are quite easy to install and to handle as well but they prove quite expensive over a period of time especially when you have multiple machines on your shop floor and during these times when the machines are expected to run around the clock you just can't afford to have a downtime or even slow down to change the filters and that is where we come in my company innovation filter systems manufactures a filtration system called mineral bed filter system which improves the life of these paper cartridges by at least 3 times and that means low downtime for your machine and hence better productivity and hence better profits for you now let's see why we need filtration for wire cut machines in the last video we saw the importance of dielectric specifically deionized water during the wire cutting process the a lot of harmful contaminants are generated which need to be removed from the dielectric fluid if they are not removed they interfere in the electrical discharges or the sparks between the wire and the workpiece which results in low quality and even slower speeds for the machine unfortunately these contaminants also pose a threat to the humans and environment in the form of ground water contamination the biggest source of this harmful contamination is the edm wire itself one study showed that almost half of the contaminants in the deionized water were copper and zinc which comes from the edm wire in some countries disposal of such uh, deionized water is highly regulated simply because copper and zinc if let out in the ground water can leach out and poison it most experts agree that cleaner water produces faster and good quality cuts generally the wire cut machines that we get come e equipped with a 10 micron paper cartridge filter however one analysis showed that almost 81% of the particles in the deionized water were less than 10 microns so what do we do in this case one way to solve this problem is to use a better quality or lower micron rating filters maybe 3 microns or lower however the lower you go in the micron rating the faster the filters will get choked and hence we need to achieve a balance between the micron rating that we need for the filters and the cost and the type of cuts or the materials that you cut on your wire cut machine additionally using a uh, dirtier than normal dielectric can reduce the life of your resin as well the resin or the bowl which is present with your wire cut machine is there to remove the dissolved solids from the deionized water so the deionization of the water is taken care by the resin however resin also is an excellent filter so if you use an improper filter with your machine most of the dirt will pass through the filter and will get caught in the resin an analysis showed that using a 5 micron or better filters with your wire cut machine improves the life of your resin by almost 200% hence the advantages of using fine filters is quite apparent 
however using fine filtration or maintaining this quality is neither practical nor cost effective when we use paper cartridges along with the wire cut machine mainly because low micron rating filters are quite expensive to purchase apart from that they drive up the operational costs as well since they choke up or clog faster and hence they need to be replaced more often apart from the filter costs some hidden costs need to be considered by the users as well since there is a lot of non productive time accumulated due to the machine downtime during these filter change outs or the labor costs which get added because of this routine maintenance and hence to solve all these problems we have developed the mineral bed filter system so let's understand how this system works this system can be retrofitted to any of the wire cut machines be it imported or indian or any make in this we use a pump a centrifugal pump of 1 hp then there is a filter vessel then there is a sludge tank an auxiliary tank and a multi port valve these are the various components of this entire system now this system works in three stages during the filtration stage we connect the pump via a hose to the tank underneath the wire cut machine where all the dirty deionized water is collected as the pump starts we suck the deionized water along with the dirt and pass it through the fil filter vessel from top to bottom now inside the filter vessel there is a mineral sand of a particular size so this sand traps the dirt from the deionized water and the clean deionized water is let back in the wire cut machine tank in the second stage we do back washing or regeneration of the mineral sand so in this what we do is instead of taking water from the wire cut machine tank we take the water from the auxiliary tank and pass it from bottom to top so because of this reversal of flow the dirt that is trapped in the mineral sand is taken out and taken to the sludge tank inside the sludge tank the dirt is allowed to settle because of the conical shape of the sludge tank and the deionized water that comes along with it it gets overflown in the auxiliary tank so not a single drop of your deionized water is wasted the third stage is called the rinse stage this stage is required since we pass the the uh, deionized water in the opposite direction during the backwash cycle and hence the mineral bed gets disturbed if we have cracks in the minerals then the dirty water during the filtration stage will get uh, a path of least resistance and uh, dirty water itself will start flowing through it the entire backwash and rinse cycle needs about 3 to 4 minutes and usually suggested interval for taking the backwash is about 8 hours the changing of these cycles is controlled by the multi port valve the multi port valve has a predefined channels inside it and when we change the lever on the multi port valve the desired ports are opened and the water flows accordingly now we claim that when one system is installed along with one machine the life of these paper cartridge filters increase by about more than 3 times however one customer has shared his experience that before installing our system on his existing wire cut machine he used to change the paper cartridges every 15 days with 24 by 7 working of the machine however after installing our system he is now changing the filters only twice in a year so you can imagine the kind of savings that he is enjoying as you can see a mineral bed filter is a rare combination where you can be ecologically sound as well as reduce your operational cost mainly because mineral bed filter has a regeneration or backwash cycle where we don't need to change the sand pre as frequently as the paper cartridges apart from that the backwashed dirt that we get we can collect it and dispose it off properly
third there is no wastage of the deionized water and fourth since it is a mineral bed filter the sand or the filter media that we use is natural and hence can be disposed of naturally and safely i hope now you are better equipped to make an informed decision while buying your next wire cut machine where you will be aware of various factors that you need to consider as well as the costs associated with it i hope you enjoyed watching this entire video series if you have not checked out previous videos i sincerely request you to check those over here and do recommend us where we can make improvements or you can make suggestions where we can make our uh, next videos so thank you and keep watching